Hey everyone, this is Tankenstein. Today I will go over five easy tips and tricks on how best to grind RP for new vehicles and vehicle modifications without necessarily spending actual money. Please like and subscribe my video if you'd like just to support my channel, but either way, let's get into it. So first, I'll start off with a bit of a more advanced trick. Now, because you can't use orders and wagers, I suggest you get backup vehicles instead. Assault Arcade Mode is perfect for this, for earning these. This will give you two chances to use the same vehicle you're trying to research parts for in a single battle. Additionally, if you feel that one vehicle will be excellent for a given situation, but you've already died in it, you can revive and possibly get tons of RP. This will help a ton in researching new vehicles as well. And in order to get those backups I was just mentioning, uh, it's fairly easy. So you can just go to modifications. And if you have any universe backups, click activate. And you can just kind of go on the slider here. If you only have one, then you can, then there will be no slider. And just click activate. Keep in mind, it will not ask you if you'd like to activate. Once you click activate, it will just turn it in to a backup for that one vehicle in particular. Uh, so there are no take backsies, so to speak. And again, you can earn these by going to uh, the Assault Air Arcade and the Assault Ground Arcade modes here. And for number two, I'd have to say select a good loadout. Typically, ground attack loadouts give the best results in air matches. But if you feel like you can get more RP by dogfighting, then go ahead and do that. Planes like the A4 Skyhawk and the A2D1 are always at the top of a match because of their ridiculous ground attack capability and decent firepower to take down enemy planes. For ground and naval forces, for example, it's as simple as making sure you pick the best ammunition for the job. This, even more so than air, will make or break your chances of doing very well in a match and thus getting tons of RP. And for number three, I have to say pick vehicles that are similar in BR. Now this kind of has two different meanings and I'll go over that now. So you will end up having an evenly powered fighting force and should not stand the risk of being severely uptiered if all of your vehicles are similar enough BR. For example, with, uh, with my top tanks here, my, that uh, portion of my uh, lineup, most of these are fairly similar BR. I've got 7.7 .7 here, 7.7 .7 here, 7.3 here, so on and so forth. So it's not like I'm going to have one tank that's a 9.0 and one of, and all the rest of mine are 6.0. Looking at you people by the XM1, you know who you are. Uh, so just again, you want to make sure that all of your vehicles are very, very similar BR. Additionally, if you are researching a vehicle of the same or a very similar BR, you will research it significantly faster than if you are researching a vastly different BR vehicle. For example, if you're using a 7BR plane you will, and you want to research a 3BR plane, uh, you will gain RP for the vehicle you want to research at a very, very small rate, uh, possibly even as small as 10 to 20% if you are choosing to research a vehicle that is far away on the tech tree uh, from the vehicles that you're currently playing. So just in short, make sure that the vehicles that you're trying to unlock are around the same BR as the vehicles that you're playing. And for your in-game lineup, make sure you have a relatively similar BR lineup just so you don't get whooped and so that you can stand a chance at defeating more or less all the vehicles that you have to come across. So for number four, and don't hate me for saying this, premium accounts and vehicles. So you do not necessarily have to spend money for either of these as wagers give you a chance to earn GE so you can purchase a premium account and premium vehicles. This said, the premium account gives a 100% RP booster, which is huge, along with a Silver Lion booster. As you can see here, just go up here, premium account, and voila, you have all of your benefits. Now, premium vehicles function in much the same way, typically having a similar RP and Silver Lion booster, and these can stack with the premium account bonuses. While you will not need to research modifications for your premium vehicle, as they have already been included with your purchase, premium vehicles can be a huge boon in researching new vehicles. I, for example, use my A2D1 uh, to research likely over 15 planes that I needed to fill out my American Aviation Forces tech tree. And until the most recent uh, vehicles came out in the F3 uh, H2 and also the F104 variants, I had my entire tech tree researched. So it's really largely thanks to having a premium vehicle, or in this case, 
several premium vehicles. And finally, my fifth and probably most obvious tip here, boosters. You can use anywhere from a 10% booster all the way up to a 900% booster. And if you have a great match, let's just say 10,000 RP reward at the end, you will end up with at least 90,000 RP if you just so happen to use the top booster. Now, is this at all likely? No, but you can still earn thousands more RP per match with boosters than you otherwise would have. I would suggest buying boosters from the War Bond Shop Battle Trophies that cost 400 boost or 400 War Bonds, and by completing Air Assault and Ground Assault arcade missions. If you have a great match, it can turn the reward at the end from great to incredible. And even if you have a bad match, it'll go from bad to decent. These boosters make all the difference and can end up being a huge part of your RP strategy. And just so you know, if you want with the war bonds, just go here. And these are the specific battle trophies I'm talking about. Again, you can go up to the 900%. Additionally, once you do reach certain ranks in the uh, war bond shop, you can actually buy these boosters here that will grant you RP all the way up to 500% if you reach the level 5 shop, which is huge. And you can upgrade your shop by completing regular uh, battle tasks on a daily basis. And again, for, for the Assault Arcade, just do these and you'll get up to a 300% booster uh, if you complete the mission. And finally, I have two honorable mention tips, and this is kind of, I guess, the top seven list, but these honorable mentions are kind of really up to you for preference. So number one, I'd say convertible experience. Uh, you can see your convertible experience here. You can click on that and it will automatically select whatever vehicle you do currently have uh, that you are unlocking. And it's one GE per 45 RP. So it's not really an efficient way of doing it and it will uh, cost you premium currency, but if you want to do it, feel more than free. Some people do that to get, the, uh, to get brand new vehicles once they're released. So more power to you. And for my second honorable mention, I'd have to say play realistic. Now, realistic is probably going to be the best way to get RP if you have success in it, at least compared to arcade. Uh, you can have many thousands of RP in a single match with just a single kill or two and possibly maybe some light ground target destruction in air. Same goes for ground and naval forces. And pretty much the prevailing thought is that realistic is going to be better than arcade. I've seen it myself, it typically is. But if you feel better in arcade, don't feel too pressured to go into realistic. Uh, but realistic will typically be better for grinding RP. But either way, this is Tankenstein. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, learned a thing or two. Uh, remember, please like, comment, subscribe. But either way, signing out for tonight. I, again, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, take care, everyone. See you all later.